friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am working on a project for the Wild Hair Kits for uh, with the September 2018 kit that I received. And it's been a while since I've done some happy mails, so I'm bringing some happy mail projects to you today. I apologize that it's been a while. Um, kind of when I... So you know how in like... April, May, I do a lot of like, I do my 30 day like spring blitz thing. After that, after doing 30 days of projects and videos, it gets quite exhausting. So then I kind of get stuck a little bit. So I was, I was stuck a little bit in the spring and the beginning of the summer. And then, oh boy, my cat's getting into mischief. Oh boy. Um, and then I... Uh, went on a trip and I got back and I had my wild hair kit and I just did like a ton of scrapbooking and project life pages for that. And, um, and I felt I had a lot of fun. I got me got, blah, blah, blah. it got me back in the groove and all that stuff. But now it's September. It's been a while and I haven't gotten a lot of mail lately. So it's hard when all the mail keeps like piling up and I've no one to send it to. So there's that, but um, I thought let's start simple and I started with just like making tags and if it didn't turn into a tag flip, no big deal, but but I thought let's just start with making tags, pulling out some papers and the most wonderful thing about having one specific kit for the month is that you don't feel too overwhelmed. When I like have my stash and I'm going through my stash. I just feel like so overwhelmed with the products I could choose that I just don't know where to start. So that's what I love about having a um, like a kit like this curated uh, specifically for me. I'll leave all the links down below for a while, the wild hair kits if you're interested. They're basically hand curated kits that you can get, which is so, so awesome. So I definitely recommend checking it out. I don't think I would do it any other way from now on because these kits are fantastic. Okay, so anyway, as you can see here, these are my tags. I took a pre-made tag from my stash and traced all of these tags um, and cut them out just with my scissors and did a hole punch in them so that, I, so that I could start my tag flip. I prefer doing it this way where I have all my tags set out and those little cut apart set out um, so that I can just get creating. Whereas if I didn't have the tags all cut out for me, then I would be like kind of scrambling a little bit and like making a tag and then like going back and cutting another one out and decorating it, then cutting another one out. I just wanted all my tags cut out so I could see what I was working with and no big deal if I don't use them all, but at least I have some cut out and um, I, there were only two of them that I didn't use. So it worked out really well. Um, and this is going to kind of be my front cover. I kind of had a direction I wanted to go right when I, right when I kind of started putting things down. I was like, okay, I feel good about this. This is going to be a tag flip. Because I, like I said, I was just going to make tags and then kind of put them all together and see how it went. But I was really happy with I don't know. I just started going and I was like, yeah, this is working out well. And this is actually the first Happy Mail project I have um, made. This is the first Happy Mail project I've made using Wild Hair Kit. Sorry, I don't know why that sentence was difficult for me to put together. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm loving how it's turning out. That doily is just for my stash. But in this kit, I have a lot of Maggie Holmes, which is awesome. I've got enamel dots. I've got these like fabric, fabric pieces from, um, I think it's from Pink Fresh Studio or something like that. I was trying to show you that the Tidy Swap Gold Color Shine, but it wasn't focusing very well. Anyway, I'm shaking that really good and putting that on the page. So I have a lot of fun products to work with and I love, love, love those um alpha thickers i'm i think they're from the maggie holmes collection willow lane i think i love them they're so cute and whimsical and pretty and girly like feminine like stereotypical girly i guess you could say um so i love them and i'm gonna make this into not a tag but like something just 
decorative, a little decorative piece and just punch a hole in it. And um, I like to put my pages side by side or tag side by side so I can see what it will look like. And uh, yeah. So a lot of the papers that I used, I'm pretty sure almost all of them are Willow Lane. The, actually, the yellow one that we're looking at right now is Paige Evans' Pick Me Up, I think. But otherwise, I believe they're all Willow Lane, I think. Um, except the envelope I make later. And what I'm doing on this one, since it is Happy Mail, I um, attached a little bag, like a goodie bag to it. So I'll fill that once I know who this is going to, but um, I'm not really going to fill it quite yet. So if you're coming um, coming to my channel or watching this video from the Wild Hair Kits blog, let me kind of introduce myself. Uh, my name is Rachel and I do a lot of Happy Mail stuff. If you haven't heard of Happy Mail and stuff like that, basically it's like, you know, when you're a kid and you send mail, you have pen pals and you send mail to one another, except this is like taking it up a couple notches and it's pretty fun. You send, send, you could send flip books, you can send pocket letters. Um, if you want to search my channel, you can see a lot of other, uh, things that I've made, uh, mail that I've sent out all different kinds of things. You send them gifts and letters and whatever, and you can send candy. You can really send anything, but you can find uh, these pen pals. I get this question a lot. You can find pen pals. How I do it is on Instagram. I'll either post that I'm looking for a pen pal, um, or you can search the hashtag pen pals wanted looking for pen pal, pen pal search, stuff like that. And you'll find people who are looking for pen pals and uh, hopefully make a connection. So what I'm doing here is that I took kind of an, um, a leftover piece of page protector and I put a cut apart in it and some of that pink paisley birthday bash sequins that I got from a pen pal and I used my uh, We Are Memory, I think it's a We Are Memory Keepers fuse tool. Let me see. Um, yes, I have the We Are Memory Keepers one. I used to have a white one. I forget. Maybe that was like Becky Higgins or something. I don't really know, but it broke. So now I have this one and it works great. And um, yeah, so I just fuse, fuse it all together into a little square and I'm going to use my tab punch to make a tab to go on the top and I'm going to staple it together just so it's very secure. And then I'm going to uh, punch a hole in it and attach it to my tag flip so that it can be a part of it and none of the sequins will fall out. So that's a fun little addition that you can add to your happy mail and I love it. I think it's so cute. And it just, yeah, they can take it off, they can use it, they can display it in their craft room, whatever they like. I love making shaker um, projects, whether it's in my project life or in happy mail or just for fun. I think they're so cute and they're almost like a little interactive element. And if you like all, if you're into all that stuff, like the interactive kind of stuff, then that's definitely up your alley. And I'm just going to get one of these little binder rings so I can start assembling it just to see, what it's looking like and how it's coming together. Um, and you can do the backs of them. I don't usually just cause I feel like that's just too much going on. I would rather just keep it simple and do the fronts and yeah, so I'm looking through it. I'm happy with how it looks so far. I'm not going to fill it with goodies yet because, um, I don't know who it's going to yet. So once I know who it's going to, then I can fill it with goodies. Now I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to make an envelope for this little flip book. Now this paper, uh, I can't remember exactly where it's from. I kind of feel like it's from Patio Party or something. Is that Jen Hadfield? Anyway, maybe not. Maybe I'm totally making that up. But um, yeah, so I'm going to make a little envelope. This is the smallest envelope that you can make with this specific punch board, or at least that's on 
the front of this punch board. You can see all the little formulas on the front there. So it's really easy to make if you have a punch board. I haven't tried without a punch board, but maybe it's not too difficult as well. I don't know. Um, and I'm going to fold it and adhere it together. And I'm going to do the same thing with the tabs so that it'll be easy to attach and you can fill it with lots of goodies. And my tab punch is actually also a We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. So... Yeah, I don't remember where I got it from, but I'm sure you can get it from... Oh, you know what? I think I got it from scrapbook.com. It's one of my favorite punches. I don't have a lot of punches, but this is definitely one that I use a lot. And I think I just secure it with a staple using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. And I'm going to decorate it a little bit to make it a little prettier. And so far, so good. Uh, this is a Meg, I think this is a Maggie Holmes sticker sheet that I'm using. And um, I put that big circle one there because I thought it would help like keep it closed and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's a bad idea, but it looked cute too. So I thought it worked. <laughs> and some gold accents and some enamel dots. So I am going to link a blog post that I'm going to write for the um, Wild Hair Kits blog or that I've already written um, so that you can look there and kind of see the little details and my thought process. Also, I say, you know, I, I usually tell my thought process in the voiceover, but if you want kind of a different perspective and in writing, then you can go ahead and read that and I'll leave the link down below. I'm a huge fan of the Wild Hair Kits, and I'm not just saying that because I'm on the design team. I really, I really do love it. It's a fantastic idea, and I'm, I'm so thrilled with my kits every single month. I'm never disappointed, so definitely recommend that. So now this page is just going to be a pretty page. It's or a pretty tag, I guess you could say. It's nothing. It's not going to be anything fancy. Um, well, it's going to be cute, but like there's not going to be like pockets or anything like that. It's just going to be a cute page and I'm just going to decorate it up all pretty and, um, use some of the gold Heidi Swap color shine and some of these leaves. And I think that goes very well with the rest of the tag flip, in my opinion. And I used some of this green fun foam to um, give the sticker some dimension so that it wasn't so flat. I thought that would help and I think it did. I think it looks good. And then to finish it off, some enamel dots, my favorite. Just sprinkle them here and there and that really completes it. Okay, so I did add a few more things. I added that pretty tassel there and I add some paper clips, which you will see in these pictures. Um, and like I said, that's a little bag there. So obviously it looks empty right now, but I add stuff to it later when I send it off. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and you liked seeing me make some happy mail. So let me know what you think. Leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching.